So am I taking this one back, or am I just going on to? The, I'm assuming just going on to the next scene. <laughs> nope. Okay, so I do have to take care of the next scene first. to progress on beyond that. Maybe it was the room to the side where I, they were saying the gun was. Everybody's gone. Should have told me which way you were heading, guys. Nope, not that way. Because there wasn't a lock door. No, because there's no door over that way at all. So is it to the old set then? Well, something's happening, so obviously I'm going the right way. But I say that that looks like me that I've seen. to the old set. And... Here we go. Ready, everyone. Okay, so what's this one? We're ready. No, we're Scene not. 66. Fading. Interior renovation. Uh, okay, Locked. second one. Upon seeing it, run this way, Frank. cultists in the room, he throws one of them down. The second one, upon seeing it, runs away, frightened. We need to escalate the gore here. Yes, the me. falling cultist is impaled on the table. Goodness. The other one falls from the ladder, tries to defend himself with a hammer. Killer saws off his hand. No, I'm going to go with the original one on this one. So th it would be a saw or a hammer. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing those are the two props that I'm going to find. There we go. Okay, so we got the killer. Yeah, we got them running. Yeah, so I'm guessing I want that up. Yeah, so that person, I'm guessing, is going to be running. Yeah, this person. Yeah, if they're up on the ladder. Yeah, then that, that's how they fall and get impaled by the chandelier. But if they're down here, they're going to see it and run out the door. Yeah, whereas, and I'm guessing with the table here, they're going to be able to jump down onto the table, grab the hammer from the toolbox, and get away. No conversation, miscellaneous people that I can flashlight here. Hmm. This isn't back. Do I get myself turned around? No, okay. Hmm. All these little waiting areas. There's almost never anything over here. I would have expected to find more notes around. Whoa. The most important thing in art 
<laughs> Stubbornness. <laughs> Thank you for the hammer. I mean, that really is all I need. basically just wanting to make a murder spree splatterhouse film but you, know, you can have some you know heightened violence and... what if we oh, oh. <laughs> yeah so okay should be good to go rolling sound action yeah, as, uh, if the tables flipped over, yeah, they would have been impaled. Done. We're ready. Get the reel. That's a wrap up for today. Remember about returning the reels to the production office. I wonder if I could actually switch it after it had already been filmed. Oh, there is somebody here. Were they there before? And I just didn't. You're like in the floor. <laughs> You're They're just like tea posing. <laughs> Get some rest. I'm sure it was nothing. Rest? I haven't rested since we started shooting. I don't sleep. I don't eat. There were rats in my kitchen. Hmm. A new set both ways. It's like a new set any way you go. Oh, here's the saw. <laughs> it's not about the effect. It's about the process. <laughs> so I had to go back to get the saw. <laughs> This way, yeah. Can I not walk this way? Okay, there. <laughs> Little invisible. Hello. Seem to have a killer running around. <laughs> we do have some sh ship parts here. <laughs> Hello. Come on, we will finish it together. Okay, so you are the female voice I'm hearing. What are we here? I learned a lot about her. And I I'm I think she knows that. And she's not happy.
Oh, so is is she the the muse? The rat muse? Is that who that is? Because if that's the case, yeah, then I don't want to follow her. In the end, there was only terror. It's shocking. It's grotesque. The form swallows up the essence. Uh. Do you really think this is what he wanted to say? All this blood and gore just to shock? He didn't aim for shock, he aimed for a warning. Oh, so this is My like... My father believed that there are monsters in this world. There is no monster in this film. There are only people. So th this is like the... Um... Where you'd leave the the one room along the side of the ship and it would give you a, a recap that would keep delving further and further each time. That's what that hallway is doing. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. You've been wonderful to work with. Sure, we never made anything prominent, but we had a good time and the work sustained us. I wanted to see this through with you. Alas, I can't stop thinking about last moments how a series of inconsequential events stunt double getting sick you and arguing again how it all led to his death how small things keep happening how there are more and more rats on the set despite everything we do how I keep having nightmares I'll be frank with you I'm afraid I hope we meet again I hope we'll make another movie together but for now, I need to leave. Yeah, basically, yeah. The, the rat muse is probably the one driving the one side. She knows. She sees you. She sees my daughter. God help us. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So was that not my own inner voice? That was somebody else. Now I'm drawing a blank on the the actor's voice. You comprehend her, the queen being the muse. She will use all her power to stop us, but we cannot. This we have to see through. Sin to scream my truth. The truth should never be a sin. Don't turn your mind towards her lest you lose it. Feel her. It's in your body, in your gut. The primal horror. Fear of the animal that is being hunted by a god. Feel the things we have to say. The fear of the unknown. 
of something bigger. Incomprehensible. I think I know what you were warning us about, but we can do better. Oh, this is it. Oh, so that's why there's like three selectable chapters. One is just the one film, and then you get double up films in the second and third part. One plus square root of five by by two. Fade in. Interior dining room. Evening. Cultists sit at the table. There is an intense conversation we cannot hear. They seem to plan killers' demise. There is no suspense. We need them talking, sure, but there has to be a mystery. We had a cage with rats, squeaking and agitated. They foreshadow the unexpected event. No, that is stupid. <laughs> Even if I didn't think that she was the muse, that seems really stupid. Scene five. Fade in. Interior. Ritual site. That. In the ritual site, similar but different from scene 13, killer tries to kill himself, summoning the ultimate evil. Other cultists attack, overpower, and stop him. Underwhelming. We were setting up the ultimate evil throughout the movie, and we need to show it. Killer uses artifacts to summon evil, succeeds in killing himself. It works. We throw all special effects we can here. It should be magnificent. I mean, the compromise could be the in-between where the killer does summon the evil, but the cultists also succeed in defeating it. You know, but it's also weird to have the cultists be the hero of this story. <laughs> you have a band of cultists and there's a killer amongst them. Usually cultists aren't the heroes in stories, so that's actually kind of interesting in a weird sense too. Because they were at the start of the film performing these rituals and then it seems like they're turning when this greater evil shows up. So actually in both of these I actually go more towards the original written story. The final sequence here does have a little bit of underwhelmingness to it, but yeah, her, hers is just totally not good at all. <laughs> everybody pointing blame at everybody else. <laughs> Nobody in here this time? We will finish it. Yep, the good old finish it. All the people throughout all these stories driven to madness through creation of perfection. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, nope. No, I don't need that. That makes sense too then why, in, in a way, those were the easier things to find. Quit following me, I didn't actually want to pick up the cage of rats. you're crawling you're just what happened you've been sleepwalking again you try to get to the basement set <laughs> so he's not been sleeping at all now in this sequence to my understand oh, can I, oh I have to give focus you people Because it's just about them sitting around, you know, plotting this stuff. So I don't actually need anything for this one. It should just be good to go. We're ready. 
Yeah, because it would just be the cage of rats would be the change, and I don't care for that one. Rolling. Sound. Action. Greatness has basically destroyed everybody in this story. Is that me that's being sacrificed there? Is that the deal? quite the visual. Ah, oh, here we go. When did you get stabbed? I didn't see you. Unless it was actually before they strung you up. That was the sacrificial knife at the start. But then that was also an object I picked up early on, too. Oh. Wait, which was this one? Scene five. Fade in. Interior ritual site. Okay, Night. so you have the... Killer cuts off the head of one of the dead cultists. He places it on the pedestal, starts the ritual, trying to kill himself. The ancient evil is summoned, swallowing him. Underwhelming. We were setting up the ultimate evil throughout the movie, and we need to show it. Killer uses artifacts to summon evil, succeeds in killing himself. It works. We throw all special effects we can here. It should be magnificent. Wait, that's, this has changed from what he had written before. Because, yeah, this is the... He wins. Killer cuts off the head of one of the... This, and he places it on the pedestal. And starts the ritual. The ancient evil is summoned, swallowing him. Hmm. 
but then her part is the same. Because before it was the cultists killing him before he's able to do the summoning. And then she complained about that. And he, uh, you know, but yeah, her, yeah, killer artificial eel succeeds in killing. Well, if it works, we throw it all the special effects we can. Yeah, so now it's the same for either one of them. Okay, time to get to work. Because that was not what he had originally wrote. But yeah, there's... There's still place for another object. Which makes me think that maybe I can find... Another object somewhere. Oop, here we go. To see the ocean in a bowl of water, to understand that every part of the universe is equally vast and uncaring. This is our lot. Is it? Oh, now it went away. Because it was interesting that I still had the rat cage <laughs> in my inventory. Silence, people. Because what if I just run it? What if I run it without a knife? Rolling. Sound. Action. <laughs> he just rips off the head. That's not what's in a script. Uh. Reshoot. So then, if we have the knife, but we don't have that, wouldn't that fail the summoning? Rolling. Sound. Action. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. How he imagined it. I prepared the reel. Wait, that one worked? We're doing it again, people. Wait, wait, wait. I can actually redo it. See? Fine. So, yeah, so that is what he's currently written, yeah. And there, there is nothing, so, yeah, because I can't even get over to them. But I was trying to think, like, if I could give them the knife or something. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose I could do it where there's nothing. You know, because... No, I didn't do it with nothing. I did it just with the... Uh, Rolling. Sound. With the artifact and then him with the knife. Action. 
something's off. And again. Alright, we'll do it with the knife. We made it the way it's written. Yeah, you We're think ready. you'd want Get to make the it real. the way it's written. <laughs> do a sense, I mean, unless it's... We got it. <laughs> After all this, they sat together to watch their creation. Pretty impressive since we only had one camera filming this scene. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so it's like you sacrifice the little guy. Then I would say that he sort of comes back as the killer. the through line I'm going with. <laughs> See, though, this scene, in a way, should have been before the last scene. You know, in editing, I would swap these two sequences around. I know what you must do. So lost. Let me lead you. That was not the angle this was shot from. <laughs> that more was. <laughs> She tried looking around, you can't move <laughs> at all during this. And that was the scene that was in between everything. It is what he wanted. Yes. All his obsessions, all this madness, all your stupid ideas. We don't have to do this. And I helped you. Oh, God, I helped you. You know what? You're right. We don't have to do this. What would you have me do? Betray him? There was actual names there. I know you gave it everything you had. I know why you do this. It's just... I can't. It's not for me. Don't contact me ever again, please. Yeah. Oh, it just cuts out, yeah. 
So yeah, so there would be a different ending, yeah, if you actually followed with her changes to it. Uh. But yeah, that was all the Layers of Fear remake. Yeah, definitely, like, I don't know if it helps with the original to have it, you'll be seen more as a story taking place in something else. I do like some of the additions that were made. But then there was other things that, I don't know if they were necessarily taken out or not, because, I mean, so many times, like, you play through the game, if you play through like multiple times you always end up with slightly different sequences you know depending on which rooms and doors you go through so some of the stuff that you know i didn't experience this time playing through perhaps do exist still within the game just so but yeah there was there was a few subtle changes in the original game that i noticed the second one, I'm not so sure. I don't remember that one as as well. I know I got all the endings when I played the original, but yeah. And but I definitely liked the the DLC games. They were good, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it needed to be <laughs> done again. Is that? I liked what they did with Observer. I think that was the name of the game. Observer, yeah. You know, I, I hope they move on from this now, finally, and you know, continue to do the same style of games, but you know, moving into newer, disconnected stories in different environments and worlds. I think this one's been pretty well tapped out at this point. But I definitely still enjoyed it all the way through. So, until next time. <laughs>